Hey everybody, Teching here. Um, okay, so today's video is not going to be anything really substantial. Uh, it's more of just a uh, treading the waters sort of thing. I'm going to throw out some ideas and see how you respond to them. And it's also following up on a post I made uh, to my Facebook fan page a couple of weeks ago, I believe. So uh, in the post, I basically threw up an image of like Yugi and uh, Jaden and uh, Yusei from the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise. And I was uh, considering adding some new content to my channel, some new series, and focusing my channel more on some Yu-Gi-Oh! related stuff. And obviously I've already done some of that stuff already. Uh, I have two uh, Let's Play videos where I duel on Dev Pro. Um, I actually just got um, YGO Pro a couple days ago, which is basically the same thing as Dev Pro. They're both like online dueling uh, uh, softwares and stuff. It's just that uh, YGO Pro is a little bit more refined, a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Uh, but they're essentially the same kind of software. So I got that and that series will continue. I also did a unboxing video a long time ago like if like back in 2012 so if you've been a fan of mine for that long and you remember that then kudos uh, i'll remember to send a bouquet of flowers to your next of kin you're like you're, you're you're passed out in front of your laptop he died watching techies videos he was such a fanboy oh no um but yeah i did that and also in one of my recent unboxing videos i got a shit ton of Yu-Gi-Oh cards like probably close to a thousand including all the reprints and um yeah, so so all of this stuff has really gotten me completely like revitalized into the Yu-Gi-Oh franchise again. Like I've been kind of on and off the past few years, but this has really gotten me back into it. And it's one of those things like Pokémon where it's just like one basic thing, but it has spread to so many different kinds of mediums. There is so much shit I could talk about regarding Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, so I was just gonna throw out an idea, like, some, like, like, I wanted you guys to give me some feedback, and obviously some people have already given me feedback on the fan page and some other videos. In fact, the other videos, and the re one of the reasons I'm deciding to move in this direction is those videos don't necessarily get, a, 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 like, a really, like, a large amount of views, although the first, um, Dev Pro video I did, I think it got at least 10,000, which is pretty good. It's pretty average, above average for my channel, um, because usually only, the only thing that gets that high up is usually my manga reviews or my Bleach discussions or anything like that. Uh, for example, like, a, like my Pokemon Let's Plays never got that many views, okay? So obviously Yu-Gi-Oh! is where it's at, okay? So, um, yeah, so I got a lot of feedback on those videos. Even the ones that don't necessarily have a lot of views, uh, a lot of people are commenting on them and talking about the series and talking about the game, and I'm thinking, you know what? This is something that a lot of my fans are really into, and I can, you know, gather new fans, you know? And I'm getting... I, have, I just passed 30,000 subs, and... Bleach is ending, of course. Uh, I mean, I don't know when. Don't, don't, you know, Techie knows the answer to that. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. No, I don't. I don't. Or do I? But no, it's going to be ending, and I need to figure out some other stuff to do. I already kind of lined up the other manga series I'm going to review after Bleach, but I want some other stuff to do on the channel. So I thought Yu-Gi-Oh! would be a good um, way for that, because this is one of the few things, like, I've been there since the beginning. Like, even with Pokemon, Pokemon started, you know, and I was a little bit too young to really understand it at that point. I was only like, I was like four years old when Pokemon the anime started show airing, and, and, you know, of course the games came out before that, so I wasn't really there at the beginning of Pokemon. And I, I used to collect the cards, I had no idea how to fucking play the game, I just made my parents buy the cards. But Yu-Gi-Oh! I've been there since the very beginning, I have a lot of stories just to tell about my personal... Um, experience with the game, with the anime. Uh, but moving on, we also do have the anime and the manga, and that would honestly be something I would be more, um, I, I guess, um, I would be a bit more able to talk about that as opposed to the card game. Now, I love the card game, and I know, I, I know how to play, obviously, I know the basics and shit. Um, I've never dueled competitively. And I watch a lot of people on YouTube that do duel competitively and know a crap ton of stuff all about the game. And they, they, it's just, it, it's crazy. Like, I was watching a guy, I forget his name the other day, but he was going on about, um, some cards, you know, like, like some cards you should put, like, in your side deck, right? And he was, you know, listing off, like, oh, these cards will work good against this archetype and this archetype and this archetype. And maybe if your opponent does this, you can do this. And my brain's like, oh, shit, he's mentioning car. I don't know, what the fuck is a... Is a is a shadow. I, I don't know what that is. I have to go look that up. Oh, that's what they are. They look annoying, you know. Yeah. So there's this. Just it's just exploded. You know. There's just so many different archetypes. So many different cards. Support for different cards. Uh, pendulums, which I, I know how pendulum summoning works, but I'm still trying to, you know, understand all the different cards that are included just in that that are coming up into fruition. So. I can talk about the card game, and I, I, t I thought about maybe 
teaching people how to play the card game because I can at least do that. I can at least teach you how to play the card game. You know, I know all the different kinds. Like, I know how to summon. I know how to pendulum summon all that shit. So I know up to that point, I can teach somebody how to play the card game. So I was thinking maybe about doing that in like some kind of like multi-part series. I think that would be a lot of fun. Um, and, and I understand once again, there's a bunch of people on YouTube that are that you could just type in how to play Yu-Gi-Oh, and you'll find a shit ton of people that are talking about it, but it's a really popular thing. It's the same thing with Pokemon, as I said. So, if anyone wants me in particular to talk about it, that that's something I could do. Um, talked about my personal experiences. I know a lot more about the anime uh, than I do about the actual card game in terms of like all the different archetypes of cards, so I would probably be better off talking and discussing that, uh, as well as I've even read the manga. Anyone out there read the Yu-Gi-Oh! manga? It's actually pretty damn good, huh? You know, um... It, 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 a bunch of different variations of that. Uh, the movies, the video games. I played Forbidden Memories as a kid. Um, there was another one I played for my. Uh, oh, what was it? It wasn't. It was on the Game Boy Advance. Uh, damn. I, I, hold on. I actually have it on my computer. Hold on. Um, but it, it was uh, the Sacred Cards. That was it. Sacred Cards. I remembered. Okay. Yeah. So that, I played that for the uh, Game Boy Advance. So I played the games. Uh, and I, I just, I just feel like I have a lot of stuff to talk about, and I got really fucking into it because I'm just like, this is like a whole new world for me. Like all this, like I, I've talked about Bleach so much. Like I feel like I can't really add much to this argument at this point. You know, it's just like when I started doing it, it's like, oh, I know I could talk about all these things, and I still can, but it's like, it's been four years, guys. Okay, I think I've said a lot of the stuff I needed to say. But with Yu-Gi-Oh, it's just this whole new frontier, all these new different kinds of things I can talk about and, 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 and discuss with you guys and learn also, you know, um, because I am by no means an expert on this shit, but I, it's something that's always been, I've always been uh, a fan of ever since it came out and uh, released here in the States uh, from the anime and everything like that. So what do you guys think? Uh, do you think I should... Um, you know, continue with this, or it, well, I'm pretty much going to continue with this. My basically, what I'm asking you is, what would you like to see to me most? Would you like to see me playing uh, some Yu-Gi-Oh video games, or reviewing the anime, or reviewing the manga, doing uh, you know the uh, how to play the game, uh, or unboxings? Now, unboxings are like I'm not really a huge fan of them, but um, you know, I have this uh, which I bought today, which I thought would be a cool thing to kick off. You know, this this um, you know new new frontier I'm heading on toward. So, um, yeah, I, I was just at Walmart earlier today, and I got the uh, Premium Gold Return of the Bling, which is, you know, they're, they're everywhere, pretty much. These aren't really hard to get. Um, it was $15, though, and that's maybe one of the reasons why I'm maybe against play, uh, unboxings. Like, I can't go out and buy every time. Every time, like, a new Yu-Gi-Oh! tin or starter deck comes out, I can't necessarily go out and just buy it, because I don't have a lot of money. I'm a college student. Um... But yeah, so I, I got this though just to show off in this video, just to kind of kick it off, give you guys some sort of content. So uh, this is this, and this is introducing the uh, the new, you know, the gold rare, at least when the time when this was released is the gold rare. I don't know how long these have been out. Um, can't be long. I would say at least a year or so I've been seeing these around. But it's really cool, just the design of the box. You know, you open it up, you see the uh, neat little design there. We got three packs, five cards each. Never bought one of these before. So, uh, which would be a rather interesting endeavor. So let's go check it out. We will turn on the card cam, formerly the window cam. All right. And this is thanks to uh, Deuce once again for one of the uh, the mats and using my prefer persona format. All right. So um, let's do this and then I'll close out this video. So hopefully we'll pull some good ones. So good luck here. I have no idea what's going to be in here. I haven't, I haven't checked on what's, uh, what's up with this at all. Okay. So we got... Rose Lover, Masked Hero Anki, which is a, a hero monster. I think I dueled a couple of those the other day. No, it was uh, Masked Hero Acid. He was a oh that, guy, that card was a pain in the ass. That card was ridiculous. It was like I forget its effect, but it was like discard one card, destroy all spells and traps on your opponent's side of the field. It was fucking brutal. That fucking acid. Um, there you go. So that's Blue Eyes White Dragon. I think we're all familiar with him. Uh, Trap Tricks Nephestus. And Charge of the Light Brigade. Just just appearance-wise, these cards are freaking beautiful. Just, like, re reflective. You know? Charge of the Light Brigade. That is pretty cool. Alright. Moving on to pack number two. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Another Rose Lover. <laughs> 
Um, this one is Isolde, Bell of the Underworld. Graffa, Dragon Lord of the Dark World. That guy I know very well. Very well. My friend used to have a dark... Probably still does. He just doesn't duel that much anymore. He used to run a Dark World deck, and he had that in there. And, uh... Yeah. That was, uh... That, that's a fun card. Uh, Exchange of the Spirit! Now, this is great, because, um... I've been rewatching the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime because I, I just, I said, I'm getting really back into it. I have Hulu Plus. They got every episode of the original anime. Fuck, I'm all over that. So I've been rewatching the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, and just the other night I was rewatching the episode, uh, The Duel with Destiny, where um, Kaiba fights, uh, 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 duels against uh, Shizu in the Battle City Finals, and she uses this card. And this card, it, it's. <laughs> It's forbidden. It's forbidden for good reason because let me just read this in case you don't know. Uh, if both players have 15 or more cards in their graveyards, pay 1,000 lights points. Uh, each player swaps the cards in their graveyard with the cards in their deck and then shuffles the deck. Uh, so you, you can only activate it once per duel. But isn't that just the massive, like, you to your opponent? Like, that, that, yeah, it's no doubt that that was forbidden for a while. Um, and then lastly, we have yet another forbidden card from the old days. We have Sinister Serpents. Um, which I think is the first... I, I don't think I've ever had a Sinister Serpent before this. But yeah, this is uh, this is another one that was kind of broken early on in the game that they had to uh, ban. That's pretty cool they put those in there. Uh, what do we have here? Another Underworld guy. Who is this dude? This dude's new. Tr Tristan, Knight of the Underworld. Maybe a little bit more useful than the Tristan in the anime. So there we go. Oh, we got a Blackwing. Uh, Blackwing Pinaki, Pinaki of the Waxing Moon. I don't have any Blackwing cards. Don't really know what the whole deal with them is. I've dueled against them before, but I've never really uh, found much interest in them. Ve Excuse me. Veil of Darkness. Uh, rank Up Magic Astral Force. And uh, closing it out with a Ring of Destruction which is another card that uh, always loved in the anime. And I don't think, and I think I owned it once, but I think I gave it away to somebody. But there we go. So uh, that's pretty cool balance. We have some new, some older ones that I recognize in here. Um, and of course, they're just, they're, they're, they're very, very interesting to look at just because they're all really shiny and people like really shiny things, right? All right. Well, um, yeah, so that's just that video. Hope you guys enjoy. Leave your comments below on what you think about me heading off into this new endeavor. Uh, I think it's I, I think it's a, something that could really garner some more fans for me, some more subs. Uh, not that I really am clamoring for some more, but, you know, um, I have to start thinking about the future for these things, you know, and, and I think this is one way to go in this direction, to start branching out. Uh, something I really know, something I really can talk about. So thanks for watching, and uh, hope to hear from you guys soon. See you later. Signing out.